In this video, we will discuss the different requirement relationships, including the containment relationship, the derived requirement relationship, the satisfy relationship, the verify relationship, the refine relationship, the trace relationship, and the copy relationship. So here's the description here. You can pause the video and read about that. We will also be showing this example and then talking about some UML meta examples to to kind of help us understand the different relationships. So with that, we'll get started with the example here. The key things that we're trying to explain is the direction of the arrow, what elements are connected between the relationships, and uh, when to use them. So it's for all these relationship types, you're going to go from client to supplier. So A is going to supply a copy of A to the copy of A requirement. So from client, copy of A is the client and A is the supplier. And you will see that for all of these different relationship types. For copy, it's going to be from requirement type element to a requirement type element. And then derive requirement is also going to be from a requirement type element to a requirement type element. Again, from client to supplier. So the supplier is going to be ABC and we're going to derive out just this A. So for the verify relationship, the verify is going to be a test case connected to a requirement element. And so the test case A is going to verify the requirement A. It's going to be the test which is done, which uh, checks off um, if the requirement A was good enough, essentially. And then we also have the satisfy relationship down here. And we're saying that the component, which is a structural feature, a block, is going to satisfy the requirement. So for this test case, it's likely going to have some sort of sequence diagram associated with it, like uh, turn on the component and then initialize and then run bit, whatever the requirement is, is asking for. Um, so this is going to be a specific scenario that is run likely on this uh, satisfying element or block. So again, from client to supplier. And then we have refine. The refine relationship is used to give extra detail about the requirement um, itself. And the trace relationship is one of the most abstract types of relationships and can be used for various different ways. The allocate relationship also is not really the context of this video, but in this case is allocating an activity to a block. So element of behavior to an element of structure. Allocate can be used in many different ways to connect elements of usage to other elements of usage or elements of definition to other elements of definition or logical to physical. There's lots of different ways to use allocate, but that's not really the context of this video. You can also check out this example that comes from the practical guide to SysML. Here's an example of the verify relationship. Here's an example of the refine relationship. And here's another example of the trace relationship. So now we will go and figure out how we can get more details if we don't have access to this every second of the day. So what we're if we're using Cameo, what we can do is we can right click on this on the uh, copy and then go to the specification and then go to copy open in, open in containment tree and we need to make sure that we have show auxiliary resources set to true in our settings up here in our containment tree and what's going to happen is it's going to bring us to the SysML profile and specifically where that copy relationship is in the SysML profile and it's going to have documentation related to that element type and it's, it uses that same uh, syntax that I was saying. It's between a supplier and a client. And that, that supplier-client um, relationship is going to help you understand which direction the arrow is going to go. So you can look at the copy relationship. You can look at the derive relationship. It also has its documentation down here. I don't think the refine does, but it, the satisfy does and the verify does as well. One more thing about the relationships, you hit this plus sign and then you go to the operation down here. You can see the types of returns. So the input, you can have any named element be an input. And for the output, we're going to need a requirement. So if I go over here to Cameo 
and then want to use the verify relationship down here and I select it and want to potentially go the wrong direction, I selected requirement because requirement is the input now, the tail end of the arrow, and is a named element. So it allows me to do that. But when I hover over test case, it doesn't allow me to uh, go to this test case because the output is not a requirement. It allows me to do this, which would be incorrect, but um, there are some things in SysML which basically are going to make you or force you into the right arrow direction. We can also pull in the owner of ABC and we can highlight both A and owner of ABC and go to display all in between paths and we can see this relationship here, which is our containment path or containment relationship. This is created when we look at our containment tree. And so if we were to pull A out of here, this will go away. See how it disappeared? So if I then control Z, it's now back underneath. So, uh, and I can look at that by, if I go into the spec of the owner of ABC, I can look at the nested classifiers such as A, B, C, and just A. And this will basically tell me the uh, nesting containment, the containment path. There's also a way to show all these relationship types on the actual requirement itself. So I'll show that now too. So if I go to those three dots, I go to edit compartments, go to element properties. I've already got these selected here, but you can move them back and forth by hitting the arrow keys here. So I've got the allocated, derived, refined, refines. All these are then, when I click OK, are going to be added to the actual requirement itself. So then I could, you know, hide all this and then it would tell me all the information I need to know on the element itself. One other thing to note is if you right click and go to refactor and convert to, you can look at the other types of relationships which are available to you. So it says more specific, copy, derive, satisfy, verify. And we've got abstraction, usage, substitution, realization, and dependency. These relationships are UML related relationships, uh, which are also very abstract um, and not really in the context of this video. But uh, they do exist. And so we'll jump over to the meta relationships. And we see that we had the trace relationship. And verify, copy, satisfy, and derive are special types of trace relationship meaning that the trace relationship, since it's the most abstract, is also the weakest. You can look in the spec window and scroll down and see all the specific classifiers right here. And you notice that verify, satisfy, copy, and drive are specific classifiers. And then we have the abstraction, which this relationship right here is an extension. So the trace stereotype is, extended, is an extension of the abstraction metaclass. If I right click on the abstraction, go to display related elements, I just select generalization, go to outgoing and select our path to, let's say three levels of depth, I click OK, and it will then automatically show me the UML taxonomy. So abstraction is a type of dependency, dependency is a type of directed relationship, directed relationship is a type of relationship. And we can ignore this for now. And so by using that right click, and then display, I'm able to just show myself the taxonomy um, multiple levels and, and see the different relationships that are going on behind the scenes in UML. Note that I didn't create these generalization relationships. These relationships are happening, again, behind the scenes within the SysML profile. So that is, comes out of the box. We hope this video has helped you understand when and how to use these requirement relationship types. And if you have any more questions, please ask them in the comments.